and a half years, Walker Furniture has been helping our Clark County firefighters get better sleep. And they've done so by visiting all the firehouses to make sure the mattresses our heroes are sleeping on get them the proper rest that they deserve. Absolutely. It's called Project Firehouse, rested and ready. And joining us now to talk about the program is Linda Alterwitz, Ms. Rahi, in the flesh from Walker Furniture. Great to see you. <laughs> also person. joining us today, first time in the studio, Fire Captain Mac Travis. Great to have both of you. Welcome in. Thank you. Uh, Hi, guys. Thank you. Linda, let's, I mean, obviously these deliveries, uh, you, you learn interesting things as you go along and you're doing these deliveries uh, with mattresses. Uh, what did you learn about the firefighters and the great experiences that you had delivering these mattresses to the firehouses? Well, it was about, I focused on the day in the life of a firefighter, yeah. and I focused on their specific jobs, mm -hmm. their exercise programs, their, of course, their sleep, and um, yeah, their cooking and uh, how they dine. Yeah, they were living there, yeah, well, for true. Well, you really got to go behind the scenes. Not only that, but you got to experience a firefighter workout yourself. Uh, I come in you at one point, and that's where I got this amazing uh, helmet, but you learn so much. And I think the neat thing about this program, Linda, you could have just written a check and had the trucks deliver the mattresses, but you kind of went a step further and you got to know the folks that work within our firehouses. What are some of uh, your favorite experiences from, from all these visits that you've done, over 200? Well, it has to be the firefighters workout. Uh, I know you were there with me, and we did, the, we've got the whole gear on. We had helmets, we had everything on, and it was exciting, but challenging as well. Imagine holding a, a hose is not that heavy, but when it's filled with water, and and you're shooting it. I mean, it was exciting, but it was you, hard. You wait, like <laughs> there's a lot of PSI coming out of that thing. You're going. I mean, how close are you to just flopping around with the hose? Because I think we held it together, right? <laughs> there we go. It was so heavy, and I think it just kind of is a testament to the amazing strength and. Um, you know, training that goes into being a firefighter. And that's why I'm so glad we're gonna talk today uh, about the state of our firefighters in Southern Nevada. We're doing a little recruitment. Well, you week. should be recruited for the Raiders, first of all, sir. Wow. I mean, honestly, this man, right? if I was fire, I'd just be like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm out, I'm good. <laughs> yes. I should be so fortunate. Yeah, there you go, it'd be very nice. Yes. Who, uh, let, let's talk about uh, your job and, and, and the friends you're trying to recruit. Well, right now I'm assigned to the training center. I'm the recruiting coordinator for Clark County Fire Department. Um, we open our official recruitment on the 3rd of this month. It runs until the 31st of this month. We're looking for uh, physically fit, able bodied individuals, 18 years of age with a uh, valid uh, high school diploma or GED equivalent mm -hmm. and no felony convictions. Those are our requirements and we want everyone. We, we're in dire need of additional staff right now. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we're offering mentoring throughout the process to make sure that we can help individuals achieve this profession. And, and once they come in and they, they do uh, receive some interest, you know, between the two parties, then it, is it like a boot camp situation? How do you train these great men and women? Well, we are a paramilitary organization, and if they're fortunate enough to be hired, they will participate in a 20-week rookie school academy. Mm. Uh, rookie schools, like I said, they run 20 weeks, five months. Um, we run a minimum of 30 personnel in that academy. Over the past list that we had, we ran five academies. So there's an opportunity wow. to hire upwards to 200 people over the next two years. Wow. wow. So there is a certain, there's certainly a need there. Physical test, obviously. Is there a written test? Some people get very iffy on the written tests. Mm. That component has changed due to the pandemic and the aftermath. And so like now we're doing a virtual test. It's a psychometric based test okay. that they're offering. So it's all online their first interaction in person will be for their actual chief's interview gotcha yep. uh what ages uh, age range are we looking at men and women correct i max i mean minimum of 18 we don't have a cutoff I and mean, we get that question all the time a lot of people <laughs> am i too old for am a profession no there is no age cutoff but 18 years of age is the minimum requirement it, it can be a incredibly i mean i know firefighters back from um, my hometown and it can be an incredibly rewarding career. There's there's benefits that come along with mm. this as well. I mean, you, you got people that are with the fire uh, that are firefighters, are lifers. They've been there 20, 30 years. Yes, sir. It is the most gratifying job on the planet. I'm of course I'm biased, um, but each and every day I go to work, I get an opportunity to make a positive impact on someone's life. Yeah. And every call to service is an opportunity for me to impress upon the community how much I care. We're genuinely 
interested in each individual doing the very best. And your job upon being hired is preparing your replacement. So invested yeah. in your personal development to leave this department better than how I found it. Yeah. So that's what each and every member of our department attempts to do each and every day. Mm -hmm. And yes. plus for, for many gentlemen, the best chance they'll ever have of being in a calendar. True. Oh, good point. Gentlemen and women. Yeah, there, yeah. Is there a, ah. and we need more women than gentlemen. Oh my goodness, I didn't know there was a female calendar for the for the firefighters as well. If not, there we'll should We'll try to create the inaugural. That, there, is. Ah. there we go. There's yes. a demand. Really quickly, uh, we have like 10 seconds. How do we get people to recruit? Well, you can go to joinccfd.org and on our website, it's going to direct you with an opportunity to fill out your application. Awesome. And it's, uh, we have a QR code as well. I'll share with you once we leave here that people can utilize as Thank well. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Captain, Linda. Thank you. Linda, this has been a great program. I can't wait to see what Walker Furniture does next. Well, we'll, we'll be announcing something in the next two weeks. Very okay. cool. She doesn't stop. Great work they're doing over at Walker Furniture. Oh Project Firehouse, rested and ready. They do just such great work in the Valley. Uh, in the meantime, Walker Furniture, two locations in the Valley. They are a local company. Go join them. Go check them out. Get some very comfortable furniture at the locations you see on your screen.